No, guys, take down the name. Yeah, I'm sure. Hello. Oh, Robert, what's up, mate? No, no, no mistake. We haven't offered you a new contract. Well, I was happy with you, mate, but uh, the fans, they want someone new. George Russell. Well, maybe give Williams a call. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome back to Aussie Villain Racing. Today we will finish up the second season. We will prepare for season number three at Aussie Villain Racing. And well, the big decision we have to make first up is what do we do with our teammate, uh, the second car? And well, the, the consensus amongst people seemed to be George Russell was, was possibly our man. So, now of course last season I forgot to bid, didn't I? So we're going to... <laughs> have to try and do a little bit better than that. We've got 20 million in the bank, so finances aren't an issue. I mean, in theory, we could almost, we, the only person we couldn't go and get is Hamilton, but would he could join us? And that is, a whole, of course, a whole different uh, story, isn't it? But, uh, all right, so let's let's have a think about this logically. Russell is, is seems to be what, what you guys think. Would Gasly at 93 rated be something? What do you think, Morty? Um... Norris at 93 rated Daniel Ricciardo 10 million. Oh, should we go for the all Australian lineup here? Let's um let's just see. All right, so we've brought in my consulting partner here Morty for this. Um All right. I mean there's no doubt there that I mean Ricciardo is obviously the better the better driver. Let's approach, see what he says. Is he going to be willing to make the move? Declined. No. Uh, previous season results, he wanted 5th or better, we were 6th. Were we? We were 5th or better, weren't we? Hang on a second here, Danny Rick. I was... Did we not come 5th? We were 5th in the Constructors. Or was it the season before that? He's... Anyway, either way, Ricardo's a no. So, let's... <laughs> let's go with... I was going to surprise you there. Let's go with what you guys suggested in George Russell... And, I mean, he doesn't have the greatest focus, but hopefully we can turn that around for him. Let's approach George Russell. And, okay. George Russell is a maybe. He's willing to talk, and that is something. So let's negotiate. Now, don't forget to press a button. Um, so there is two of us. It's ourselves, and it's Williams. Now, you would imagine... I mean, we're a better prospect than Williams, aren't we? Surely. So let's start negotiations. Uh, let's... Go with a large bid to make sure we get that done where we can. Is Williams going to come back? Finalizing deal. I think we've got... Jo oh, we've lost. Oh, we've lost, we've lost, we've lost. So, George Russell isn't an option. Let's go back to my... my what was my initial thought here of Pierre Gasly at 93 rated? Let's have a look at him. I mean, he's again, he's obviously better. Let's approach. Okay, again, he's <clears throat> excuse me, he's open to it. It's between ourselves and Alpha Tauri. Let's go with a large bid. We currently have the highest bid. They've gone higher, so let's go higher again. That's what I missed last time, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, we've got money to burn. We've got money to burn. I think we've done it this time. It's Pierre Gasly. So Pierre Gasly will be at Aussie Villain Racing next season. That, that's exciting. That's exciting. Uh, now he's going to be expensive to keep. So it's Schwartzman out. It's Gasly in for next season. Now let's have a look at activities here. Now I'm using the keyboard, not the steering wheel. So this is going to be a challenge for me. Um, I'm not too bothered about anything here. Let's give ourselves some time off. And we'll get to the end of the season. Any messages? Of note, driver retirement. So Vettel has officially uh, retired. So that means there's a seat opened at Aston Martin. There's going to be a seat opened at Alpha Tauri. We know Swartzman's available. Hopefully he does get himself another seat. So there's going to be driver movement this season, which is not something we've seen in previous seasons. So this is going to be an exciting, exciting time. Now, the other thing we can look to do is R&D stuff, because we have uh, just under 5,000 points. But let's wait till the new season for that. I don't really care to speak to Will Buxton. Sorry, mate. And we Not will skip ahead. Durability apartment has an issue. All right, so we've got another one of these. Uh, someone said something that's been taken the wrong way. I mean, I don't want to come across as insensitive. I mean, it'd be better if you had a little bit more information as to exactly 
what was said. But to be honest, if there's no if there's no offense that's intended, not an easy decision. I'm not going to fire yeah, someone well. for it. So we nice. lose team acclaim, but so be it. So let's finish the season, and we have got a cash bonus for finishing uh, where we finished. So that gives us 33 million, which is very nice indeed. We'll be able to do some damage with that. And, uh, well, that's how ourselves and Pierre Gasly did. Now, Gasly, we were ninth and 10th in the championship last season. Let's hope we can do a little bit better between us next season and close that gap to Ferrari. All right, so this now brings us to the part uh, of next season's calendar. Now, as we discussed previously, we've decided that we're going to knock it down to 16 races just to get through seasons a little bit quicker. And now for this first season, the three tracks that are new that were in the calendar this year, so Imola, Portimao in Portugal, and also the Jetta track, uh, they're, they're going to be automatic, or automatically in the in the uh, in the calendar. So that means we have 13 tracks that we need to uh, we need to get uh, to get in here. And the way I've decided we're going to do this is by a random spin of the wheel. So let's head over to the wheel. All right, so here we go. We've got the the uh, remaining tracks uh, listed here. So let's uh well let's spin and let's see the first track to join us on the calendar will be not money go not money go it is going to be austin so the us grand prix will be on the calendar so we'll remove them and we will spin again there are 12 more spots left on this calendar the next race is going to be mexico so we're loving uh we're loving that side of the draw right now, aren't we? All right, let's go again. There are still 11 races to be fulfilled here. It's going to be Italy, is it? Oh, yes, just it's going to be Italy. Let's go again. This could get a little tedious eventually. Not Monaco, not Monaco, not Monaco. It is Russia, is it? Yes, so Sochi, a track that we've had a fairly good history at. So happy to see them involved. Let's go again. And it's going to be... Oh, it's Zanvoort. It's the roller coaster that is the Dutch Grand Prix. Though I did enjoy it, and we were lucky not, unlucky not to get points there last season, weren't we? S hundreds of a second away from Sonoda for 10th. We go again. Is it going to be a home race? Oh, not Abu Dhabi. That's one I wouldn't have minded missing. But Abu Dhabi will be back on the calendar. How many is that? That's six. So we've got seven more to go. There's some big tracks still on the list here. Canada, no. Oh, we Canada, of course, where we were so... Our only pole position, of course, it's France. Only just... For, I would have liked Austria. I want Canada on there as well because they're tracks that we've done well at in the past. We spin around. We spin around. Is it going to be a home Grand Prix for Aussie Villain Racing? Yes, it is. So that is excellent news. We're running out. That's eight down. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't mind Bahrain coming in as well. I do like that track. Oh, don't. Oh, it had to be Monaco. We'll be on the calendar. We go again. Four races left, and it's going to be Hungary, where we've got a surprise fourth place finish this season. Uh, very much safety car helped. And with three races to go, not all of these tracks I want on here are going to get on here, are they? Brazil, China. Are we now another new track? So China will be on the calendar. So we've got two races left. I'd like Bahrain to be there. I'd like Aust Austria and Canada. I can't have all the tracks I want. Who's it going to be? Silverstone missing out would be a big one. No, stop. It's going to be one of the good ones. It's one of the good ones. It's Austria. All right, so we will be going to Austria. There is one place left on the calendar. Is it going to be Canada? It's the only track I'm good at. <laughs> Come on. No, oh, is it going to be Bahrain? It's going to be Bahrain. So that will be our calendar for next season's Formula One Grand Prix. So there we go. Missing out. We won't be going to Barcelona. We won't be going to Baku, to Canada. We won't be going to Silverstone, which is a bit of a blow. We won't be going to uh, Spa, which is a big, a bit of a blow as well. Singapore, okay, we're not going there. Japan is a bit of a disappointment, but I crashed out of that one last. Did I crash out of that? I call it. I think I crashed out of that way. Oh, I did too, didn't I? Brazil is a disappointment. I do like. Uh, I do like that track. But uh, them's the breaks. That is the calendar for next season. 
All right, so the new car is uh, undercover there, as we can see. We'll get to the, the unveiling before too much longer. But let's go have a look and see what activities we have here with our 34 million in the bank. You can see the car reveal coming up there shortly. Uh, what do you want to do here? Pre-season merchandise sale. I mean, a million is nothing to sneeze at. Advertising campaign would help with a claim. Uh, driver press tour would help with a claim. Driver training camp would help Gasly. Um... Okay, so let's do... Let's help Gasly. Let's give ourselves a day off. And then I'm pretty keen, I think, to do this, get this million... Or do we want the driver, the team acclaim? Um, airy chassis focus would be more resource points. Maybe that would be even better, actually. Yeah, let's do that instead. Uh, do we have more time? No, and then we're at the Grand Prix, first weekend of the season. So... Not much to do there. Let's go and have a quick look at facilities. Now, we know we can upgrade now. We have 30-odd million. What do we want to do first? Durability. We have uh, a couple of things to do here to get these up to scratch. So let's do that. And the build time as well. That leaves us 27. Oh, we've got so much money to spend. So much money to spend. Um, all right. So now I think we want to... What, the, what can we do with marketing? And claim will be quicker and positive effect from team activities will be significantly increased. I mean, 12 million is a lot for it's 10%, though. Let's hold off on that. I think we're better off with on, car, on track performance just now. Uh, so, more resource points that could be useful. If we do that, I mean, it's 6 million, but we have the money to spend. If we do that for each of them, that's going to be a significant increase in, or you know, in the amount of uh, of of resource of uh, yeah resource points that we get every week. Hopefully, I'm not making a mistake in doing this, but I don't th I don't think it is. Is it? Maybe it is. We'll find out. Live and learn. So that is that's our money gone, <laughs> just like that. R and D. Now we know we have R and D points to burn, so let's have a look and see what we want to upgrade here. Now, essentially, we don't have much new stuff we can get. It's more stuff that's left over, it looks like, from last uh, last season. So we'll, we'll get what's here to get. And, I mean, that only makes sense to do, really, doesn't it? And, I mean, look where we could be. I mean, everybody else is going to move, aren't they? So let's not, let's not get too excited just yet. But upgrades complete. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, do we have anything we can get here? There is. We can get cockpit weight reduction. I know, Morty. You want your dinner. Come on. Come down. We'll get your dinner in a second. Come on. Come on. So you can see there, we are not as good. So we were right up there, weren't we, in the aero. Chassis, we're not quite as good. Though it was surprising maybe to see Williams up there. Powertrain. Is there anything we can get here? There is. It's not particularly expensive. How are we doing for R&D points? Still absolutely fine. Powertrain. It's surprising, you know, how fast we are, but that's probably down to the aero department, isn't it? Because we definitely are quick in a straight line, but we are lagging behind, apparently, in a powertrain. So if we can get that up to scratch, watch out, here we come. Now, we are running out of things a little bit here now, so let's go with this ECU, which looks to be a bigger upgrade. That is that done. And we've pretty much spent our lot, haven't we, at this point? Uh, we'll just see if there's anything in durability that we can get coming into the new season the supplier upgrades we did stay with mercedes for another season i see no reason to change that so is there anything there that is relatively cheap no it looks as though we're gonna have to have to earn anything else that we get there so that is that r d progress is there any progress to report on there's a lot of stuff we have coming for the new season so hopefully that will uh that'll come through you can see we're starting the season there just below ferrari sort of in between the seven and eight hundred sort of the well the bottom of those two reddish lines the vehicle itself if we go across um i mean that's got all its parts for the new season so we don't have to worry about that the corporate side of things everything there is still the same contracts are all still the same gasly 97 rated now that may not last in fact, let's do it now. Let's have a look at uh, the, the driver lineups for the new season. So Williams have retained Latifi and Russell. Red Bull have retained uh, Perez and Verstappen. 
Mercedes have retained uh, their two, Hamilton and Bottas. McLaren have kept uh, Norris and Ricardo. Haas have kept Mick Schumacher and Mazepin. Ferrari have kept their two. And this is where I think it starts to get interesting. Obviously, we know we've, we've uh, snagged Pierre Gasly. Aston Martin have got Christian Lungard in to replace Vettel, so a new driver to Formula One. And he'll be partnered by Giovinazzi, so Lance Stroll. Has, uh, has left there as well. Alpine have kept uh, Ocon and Alonso. Sonoda Alpha Tauri is joined by Lance Stroll. So that's an interesting uh, partnership there. It's going to be Robert Schwartzman moving across to Alfa Romeo. I wish him well there. He's going to be joined by Guan Yu Zhou as well. So there's a little bit, sort of the bottom half of the grid, there has been a little bit of movement around, which is good. You like to see it. So and a new driver as well in Christian Lungard. So that is everything there. Let's skip ahead to the car unveiling. All right, thank you everybody for joining us for the unveiling of AVR's Season 3 Challenger. Now, I'm absolutely delighted to have Pierre with the team this season. So, uh, Pierre, what do you say we see this uh, bad boy at Stena hopefully be taking us to glory this season? So there we go. That is the new car for this season. Hopefully it's going to be as fast as... I. I can I get back, please? I've got, I do this every time. I don't use the steering wheel, and now I don't know what I'm doing. There. So, yeah, I think it, I think it looks good. It was a, a new livery that I found, custom uh, uh, pre-done one. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I like it. I think I like it. It'll look good on track. That's the main thing. Uh, all right, so let's get ahead now to see what happens over the rest of this uh, of this break. Let me know what you think of the car. I want to change it up a little bit more dramatically than what we'd had previously. And yeah, I don't think it's too bad. It looks like something has failed there as we, I know we prepare. We some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. Yeah, I we mean, need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R and D screen. Not great news, Jeff. I've got to be honest. So can we go and do that now? R and D screen. What has failed? I think, was it a powertrain thing? Was that what I saw? Let's have a look here. So it's not a powertrain thing. We'll go back. So we've got a new part there. We've actually got a little bit we can look to do here. So, oh, so it was the Vortex generators that have failed. So let's go and redo those straight away. Because we'll get them for, relatively speaking, half price. So that's that. We've still got a little bit to do here. Um... Or that we can do. There's nothing here, is there, that we can get right now. That's coming soonish for the next race. And... Alright, so we've got brake disc width. So let's maybe... It's a major upgrade on the brakes. I don't see any reason not to do that. So only a 14% failure chance as well, which is nice, though we've already had, had one failure. And look at that, on the chassis, we, uh, we've climbed up another spot there, it looks like. Is there anything else here we can do? I'm excited for this coming season, I've got to say. I'm really curious to see how P.A. Gasly gets on. Is there anything else here? We've got fuel technology. I mean, that sounds one for the boffins, doesn't it? But only 600... Well, let's hold off on that, see if there's, if we can use, we've got 800 points right now, see if we can use it a little bit better. Uh, so this, is this going to be a major upgrade? Electro, electrical systems, uh, more resistant to wear. Now we did have, we have had issues with that in the past, haven't we? And we can afford it, so let's get that just now. Yeah. And that pretty much is our lot, isn't it? So, guys, that will do it for today. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think of the new teammate, the new livery. Sorry we couldn't get George Russell. I, uh, I've i lived and learned now. I kind of get the bidding process. At least I bid this season. Last season, of course, I forgot I didn't bid at, at anything at all. So, if Gasly, I'm excited to see how he gets on. And we've got some other new drivers on the grid as well. It'll be Bahrain to get Season 3 underway next time. Until then, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I've got to go feed these cats.